so welcome to the Sterling Engine Locomotive Project. Uh, up to this point, I've built another four engines. I shall just show those right now. So some of these engines were better than others, um, but I've certainly learned quite a lot along the way. Um, so with this project, um, what I want to do is actually um, incorporate a locomotive with a Stirling engine. Uh, I've actually got this railway that goes right around my house. So this is actually a five inch gauge railway. Um, I built this uh, probably 10 years ago when I moved into the house. I've always um, always liked the narrow gauge railways where you, you could ride on the railways. Um, so I so as a little project, I just built that around my house. Um, I just up to this point, all I've had is a little electric locomotive with a few wagons behind it. Uh, I always fancy the steam engine, um, but they're quite expensive, um, all that world. And you've really got to be quite involved in it, really, uh, with the yearly boiler steam tests and all this kind of stuff. Um, so I thought a nice um, a middle ground would be to make a Stirling engine that actually runs on rails. Um, and as far as I know, I don't think anybody's actually done this, um, unless somebody wants to um, come in and show me theirs. Because I, I, I don't think there's any worldwide, but I don't know, there might be something out there. Right, so here's an uh, incredibly quick drawing of um, the basic uh, rough concept of what, what I want to do. So it's going to look very similar to the last engine, uh, but with a few tweaks um, uh, in the design just uh, to try and uh, solve some of the initial issues I had. Um, so you can see here, this is um, the bottom end looks like a little locomotive. So it'd be a, a narrow gauge four wheel locomotive. Uh, and so you've got the wheels there, uh, you've got the link bar between it to. Uh, keep the wheels in time with each other uh, the one on the other side of the engine will be quarter out um, so this is driven by a, a sprocket which is connected by a chain to the sprocket on the gearbox so this is a gearbox here uh, the input will be a, a belt pulley uh, which comes from the, the main shaft up here belt pulley uh, there's actually going to be an idle pulley here now this is actually going to act as a clutch um, to engage and disengage the gearbox like on a car uh, you can see the crank here. This is linkages uh, going to here. That's a pivot point. Um, so this will this will push this uh, diaphragm piston in and out, uh, and this one as well. If you go and look at my the engine before this, you'll you'll, you'll understand exactly uh, how this is going to be because it's it's quite similar in a lot of ways, really. Uh, this big circle here represents a big flywheel, uh, and over here is a chimney. Um, here's our fire. Um, on this one, I'm going to draw the air in um, at this point here. And I'm going to draw it over the, the cold heat exchangers, uh, down through this passageway here and up through the um, up through the fire. So it will preheat the air to the fire. Um, also, it will create a, a constant draft to keep the tubes nice and cool. Because uh, the cooler we can keep the tubes, uh, the better the engine should run. Um, and obviously you've got the, got the connection, um, the pins there to connect um, up wagons and, and, and coaches or whatever to it as well. So this is the current electric locomotive. Um, it's a bit miserable here at the moment. As uh, if you can see out there, it's, uh, it's a bit wet and damp. And my poor garden is a right old bog at the moment with the rain. It's been raining in England the last year quite a lot at the moment. Uh, yep, so as I was saying, this is a five inch uh, gauge locomotive. Uh, runs on steel railways. Um, these aren't proper railway tracks. This is just um, uh, flat steel 10 by 20 uh, bar, basically. Uh, but it seems to work um, and the price suited my pocket at the time as well so this is my previous engine it's being stowed away for winter under shelter so what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to reuse this whole diaphragm concept um I'm out, i'll try and get out of the way of it right uh, oh i can't move it oh, so um, the only problem with the round seals is they don't quite fit in with the design I've got in mind with this locomotive. Uh, one of the uh, problems with this particular engine is it doesn't make full use of radiant heat. Um, but the only problem is with the round with the round pist uh, cylinders, pistons, I never know what to call them. They're diaphragms really, aren't they? Um, but it doesn't allow you to have many tubes uh, horizontally. 
you see here i'm limited to uh what was it one two three four five six seven i've got eight tubes um i can't fit any more in because of the shape shape of the, the um diaphragm so i picked this up uh probably four months ago now uh this is a, a gearbox off a go-kart and it's got forward and reverse on it uh it'll do up to like sort of six horsepower or ten horsepower something like that so it's a completely oversized what i need but the price was right it was only 65 pounds on ebay um so i've got forward neutral and reverse it's really good value for money really because it comes with all the accessories as well um comes with a a lead there that controls uh that controls the forward neutral and reverse it's got a bag of nuts and bolts um i think there's there's probably a lever in there no the lever's not in there there we go there's a um there's a quadrant there so that goes on on there like that that control for and reverse i don't know whether i'm going to use that or not i might just have a um more of a linkage sort of kind of system um yeah it's got the it's got the control handle as well for forward and reverse it'd be a pity not to use it really considering it came came with it yeah very nice yeah so um i don't any design work yet uh well i've just started uh, probably have done about a week now um but i'm only sort of um thinking about ideas and stuff like that really normally before i start doing these youtube videos i've actually already got the design all ready to go and i've got the, la the laser cut and cut out um so this will be certainly a process from the uh, basically the basics uh, hopefully through to the finished item in a few months time yep so this is my little workstation nothing fancy just got a basic free cad software um a pen and piece of paper basically um you can see some doodles here I was trying to work out calculations for um, compression ratios and whatnot. So on the CAD here, um, I haven't actually done a great deal. Uh, I've been playing around with tube configurations just to try and see what I can fit in. Um, so with the tube configurations, what I want to try and do is actually um, use an oblong um, diaphragm piston. I, I haven't seen any... I like this anywhere else so i'm hoping um i'm hoping it'll work i can't think of any reason why it wouldn't work um i'm going to give it a go anyhow um the only my main concern is stability of the thing um but I've, I've got a hunch it's going to be all right the reason i need to do it that shape is um so i can position the the tubes in this configuration so they're all side by side this is so the, the far underneath um a lot of the radiant heat can be captured um directly um what else have we done so for the main frame of the thing uh i've kind of got a sort of uh the main frame kind of something like it um so i'm going to get these wheels cut out with a laser cutter and then i shall machine the the profiles the profile the wheel on them um because it's got a few components um so i know with cad i never actually get to any final design like design drawings as such um cad for me is a tool to create uh templates so i can get them laser cut out and that is it really right so that's uh, the basic outline of the project um and what i've done up to this point um hopefully now i'll better push ahead and uh, really start to um uh, get the parameters of the design uh, nailed down and I can um, get on with designing the thing properly. Until next time, bye bye. Hey, get out! Get out of here, you!